So this is hiphopgossipsite.com and we're in the building with The Haven. And for those who are not aware who The Haven uh, is, can you just explain to them who you are? The Haven, AKA Headache, AKA Hill, Hill for Marcy. Everybody hear it? Fuck The Haven for Caven. Uh, the Haven taught me the game. Everybody know it through Jay-Z's lyrics. You know, that's who I am. The YouTube, over three million hits. Um, story of the year, New York Mag. You know, that's the stuff that y'all didn't hear. I'm back again, I told you what's up. When these cameras pop off, I'll be ready and have a whole new format and plan. So here I am right now, The Haven. Okay, now for people who are not aware and who haven't seen your YouTube clips, what was your relationship like with Jay-Z? Who were you to him? Well, basically, um, I was his right-hand man, you know what I mean? Beyond that, we, you know, we was brothers. As you'll see, I'm going to put out a documentary. It's going to actually lay out everything so you would know, understand why the YouTube was even put together. Um, yeah, you know, we grew up public school, this, that, you know, it's, it's beyond just friendship and everything. It, it goes a little bit deeper than that. So, um, that's what this is about. It started off really negative behind, you know, him really, a lot of disrespect in the game. You know what I'm saying? I feel like he disrespected me for a while and, you know, I just chose to come out and say something now. Um, Do you want to get into why you guys had a falling out? Can you be specific? The specific you... reason why we had a falling out? Right. Well, that's the that's the that's the ten million dollar question. Like, like why? What, what okay. happened? You know, I get I get asked that a, a lot of all every day. And the bottom line is that's what I'm trying to find out. Like, what happened? You know, why so dis? You know, why this disrespect? Like, to me, why I say disrespect is like for him not to even give me time even to act like he didn't know me you know what i'm saying for all that i sacrificed all that my people sacrificed you know all that my family sacrificed you know, it, Yo. i never knew that it'd get to this you know what i'm saying um all the kind of a conversation that he could have just sat down and had with me you know what i'm saying i feel like he forced my hand you know what i'm saying and he forced my hand to, to come to this you know so okay that's where i'm at now, you said there was a lot of disrespect, and um, Jay-Z had a few songs mentioning your names. Um, the first one, No Hook, where Jay-Z kind of calls you a snitch, and um, I think his words were, fuck the haven for caving, made men don't make statements. I, think, I believe that was an American Gangster. What is he talking about? So, um, man, I have, you know, I don't have a clue. But, okay, but he is talking about you though. Yeah, he said me, he said my name. Okay, I just want to clarify but that. The fact of the matter is, to even label me in, with some statements or some snitches, you know, snitching statements, I think that's that's about the utmost disrespect. It is, especially streetwise. Streetwise. Yes. You know, I can make it get ugly, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? I, it can get crump behind that, but at the end of the day, it ain't even worth it. You know what I'm saying? I would be, you know, I'm mad. Okay. I figured if you mad enough to make a statement like that, my whole point is, so tell me what you're talking about. Okay. Produce what you're saying. Because that's, we don't use, that's the problem with that word snitch today. You know what I'm saying? You use that word like it's just any ordinary word. My thing is, man, back that up. They need to. You know, back that up. That's the only thing I'm saying. Like, why would you say something like that? You know, to that magnitude to get me hurt, just behind really your image to save your image and, and you know your credibility. You know, um, I'm not stressing that because I thought the fact of you know he said that without thinking, just like I did to YouTube. Now, are you surprised he said those things about you, or are you not surprised? Well, when I'm thinking, when I think about it. You know, that was the reply to the YouTube. You know, I just finished cussing out his family. I cussed out his mom, you know. And I can understand that kind of anger. Like, you're just going to come out and say that. But why would you feel the need, so to speak, to... You said that you disrespected his family. Why would you feel the need to do that? For the just for people could... You know, just for just, people just to for understand. That because, you know, my whole thing is... Like, where your mom in this situation? 
Mm. So this is an ugly, ugly situation. You know what I'm saying? Um, I feel like, you know, she could have said something. She could have, she should have spoke to him and, and said, yo, you know, this need to be cleared up. Right. You know, if, from my understanding, she did that with Nas. 